Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. Let me see, let me turn the volume up just a tad. Um, so today what we are going to do is we are going to go over um, how to do my next challenge. And it is hashtag flashcard Friday collage. So what we're going to do is we're going to use dice. So you need a pair of dice. Uh, you will need some... Um, flashcards. They can be vintage flashcards like these. Um, or, let me get this out of the way. These are prompts. Um, or you can make them yourself somehow. Oops, that's not supposed to be in there. Okay, sorry about that. Let me pull a couple of... Okay, well, not a couple, just one. Um, yeah, you could make your own out of some kind of paper. Or... Um, Tracy Fox over at Love Junk Journals, um, it's a number thing. It's one of her digitals, and they are actually flashcards. And I had these already printed out and sitting in my stash, although I had forgotten about it. So I printed off, you know, a couple of examples that will be at the back. But these are the completed kits. Um, so she has one that's just, it's a number thing, and the other one is... Um, uh, floral number thing that's already got florals on it um, so yeah so just wanted to so that's that kit yep these are really cool so again you can go over and buy her kit and use hers or if you have your own um, they are these are relatively inexpensive guys uh, you can find them in the toy section at, you know, Goodwill and thrift stores and things like that. Of course, you know, a lot of us have them laying around, and I have never really did much with these. So, when um, my bingo collage was ending, um, I was trying to think of something else to do and ran across these, and then it hit me, you know, flashcards. And then I was thinking, okay, so what rhymes with flashcard? And it's like, okay, Friday. So, flashcard Friday. Um so I actually went on, um, you know, YouTube and Instagram and all that and, and searched the um, uh, hashtag flashcard Friday and found nothing in that th that pertained to uh, scrapbooking or, um, you know, handmade journals or junk journals or anything like that. So that's pretty much, you know, when I decided that would be my next challenge. And I am really, really excited about it. So I do have our prompts written out. Um, I will make sure to post those. Um, let me see. So these are going to be on Friday. So let me see what date we are going to start this. Okay, so this video is going to post on Sunday, uh, and this will run for six weeks, so this will post on the 28th. So, in order to give you guys, and I will send out another reminder between now and then, let's do our first one on Friday, December the 10th. So, I'm going to go ahead and put down right here. Friday, December 10th is when we will start um, the hashtag flashcard Friday collage. All right, so what we do again is we have two sets of prompts. So the first set of prompts are going to be your vocal point, and with that, you only have six. It's one a week for six weeks, and you will roll one dice. Okay, so that's how we get our vocal point. The second set of prompts, we have 12. And of course, with the uh, with the collage items, I'm sorry, with the collage items in the second set of prompts, you're going to roll two dice. So what I had to do, since rolling two dice, you'll never hit a number one, is they are numbered two th two through twelve, which is actually only eleven numbers, and then the last one's just going to be free, so you can do anything that you want. Um, on the very last one so that'll be the sixth week so what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and do an example so we are going to roll one dice to get our vocal point and it's a number four so four we're gonna say okay so four is a flower okay so that's our vocal point and now we're going to roll both dice twice because for the collage items you need at least two collage items 
So we have four, and this is graph paper, and we will roll it again, and that is what, eight, eight is typed text. All right, so I'm going to pause you guys, and I'm going to go and find me a flower for my vocal point. I'm going to decide uh, which flashcard I'm going to use, and I'm going to get some graph paper and typed text, and I will be back in just a moment. All right, guys, so I have collected my items, so I have some graph paper, um, and then I have this vintage uh, college uh, typewriting book here. And this is from 1936. So let's find a page where we can just get some typed text off of there. How about this right here? This should work. There we go. That should be plenty big enough. And I also got out a piece of scrap coffee dyed paper. Um... And with this, I'm just going to back the side. You don't have to back the side. You guys can do this any way that you want. And this is the card for this one that I have picked out. So, let's see. Let me get my tear roller, I believe. And go ahead and tear this down. And we'll save these little pieces because that could be stamped on. So, we will put those in the scrap box later. Um, and also, guys, you can have it going this way, or you can have it going this way. You can do it any way you would like. Alright, so let's see. Put that there. That little piece off. And we will get us a little piece of this craft paper here. Thinking maybe we could put it down first. Not too worried about going all the way to the edge because I will probably um, be um, distressing around this, so not too worried about that. All right, so this is going to be our collage. So we will start out with our collage. So we'll get our glue book and our glue. And I want to get this one on there first. Because I would rather see more of the uh, typed text than um, the graph paper. Man, somebody is making some racket in there sure what they're doing and this you can see that number through there faintly doesn't bother me I actually like that so all right so we'll do that one later so we'll get some glue on this one I really hope you guys enjoy this challenge this is my official first one so am very excited there we go look how cute all right so i think we will go ahead and back the back of it with some of this and again i am not at all worried about going all the way to the edge um if going all the way to the edge is something you guys want to do please feel free um, I'm just really more concerned with just having a little space to write on back here. Let's see. Get that right there. Should get us good. Yeah, it just covers that up. Awesome. All right, so that will go in the scrap bin and. We will get her on there. But yeah, same as the last challenge, guys. Just post your pictures, post your videos on Friday, your pictures on Facebook, um, 
or Instagram, and you'll be using the hashtag, hashtag Flashcard Friday Collage. That way, we will be able to find them through that hashtag. There we go. So now we have some writing space. And I think I'm going to go ahead and distress. And this is going to be, you know, a cute journaling card. Um, or if you wanted to, you could cut it down into a tag. Just let your, you know, imagination take you where it will. And also, you know, if you get the vocal point on there and feel like for you, you want to add something else, please do so. Because um, this is all about just having fun and, you know, doing what makes you happy and what makes you feel good. So, we pulled this out to find our vocal point. So, there's our flashcard now. And guys, you really don't have to cover up all the numbers. You can use just, you know, a small piece of this for one corner and a small piece of the collage part for the other corner and leave the middle the way that it is if that's how you choose to do it. There are really no rules here. Well, there is. got to have fun. That's a rule. Okay, let's see. Say we're hunting a flower. Do we want one of these flowers? That pink flower is pretty. Oh, look, and that's a good size, too. And I'm going to go ahead and push that up just a little bit. And I'm going to find me a label. See, add what you want, guys. Whatever makes you happy. Oops. Okay, let's make a mess there. Alrighty, so let's find... This one's going to be too big. I don't know why I'm pulling it out, but it is really cute. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. I think I had some other ones that might have... Some flowers and things on. Nope, that's an owl, not a flower. I may have used all the ones with the um, flowers on them. What's this one? This one's got something on it. Oh, that's a that's a birdie. Okay, let's see what is in here. Well, that one's kind of cute. I think it's a good size too. All right, you come here. Okay, just going to flip through just a little bit just to make sure that that is what we want. That's a cute little bird. Isn't that cute? No, I like that one. I like this size anyway. Let's see. Those are all too big. They're like monsters. Okay, let's see. We did that and did that there ish. We could have room for something at the top. Let's see. Hmm. Um, blue, I don't think. I think the, excuse me, green is better. Let's see. Yep, I think that's going to be it, guys. We're going to go with that. Alright, so let's put those back up. Alright, so we will distress around this. And our little label here. Alright, so I think we're going to do our label and our other little thing first. And then we can get our flower on there. So about there. Awesome. Oh, hello. Come back. We'll try to get that center-ish and straight-ish at the same time. 
Alright, so that's a sticker. So we're done with our glue. My goodness, they are making some kind of racket in there. Okay, so now you guys might have to have a dance party while I... Oops, wait, maybe I got it. Oh, no dance party. Maybe. Let's see, I felt it start. Ha, we got it, we got it, yay. All right. Right there, maybe. Oh, yeah, super cute. All right, guys, so there we go. Our example of our hashtag flashcard Friday collage. There you go. All right, guys, there we go. All right, I hope you guys will be <coughs> joining me again. All you need is flashcards. You can have vintage flashcards, new flashcards, go to Walmart, Dollar Tree, wherever, and buy you some. Um, find them in the thrift stores. Um, you know, use digitals like Tracy Fox's digitals. Uh, use hers, a pair of dice. If you don't have a dice, you could come up with another way. All you need is a set of six numbers and a set of 12 numbers. You could take pieces of paper and put them in a bowl. Just have six in one bowl, 12 in another, and draw them out that way. Whichever way. You don't have to really spend any money at all. You can also make these cards, um, you know, any size, any shape you want. Take a black magic marker and write, you know, one plus one on it, and there you go. You know, put the answer on the back. Whatever. You've made your own flash card uh, with just cardstock or something that you have um, laying around in your stash. Um, so yeah, no need to actually go out and buy anything because you can use scrap pieces of paper with your dice and you can make your own. So whichever way you guys want to do it. Um, also again, if you feel like adding something, please add something. Just, you know, just have fun with it. Alright guys, so we will start this on uh, Friday, December the 10th. I will be posting mine at 11 o'clock. Um as my main video for that day and I am still participating in uh, uh, Rachel's hashtag Roxy's weekly challenge I will just push that video to 2 p.m. so that it can still um, post on Friday as well so yeah you guys have fun I will put up a reminder uh, video probably next Sunday um, and next Sunday I think is when I will also um, go ahead and post the prompts you can find those on my um, uh, Instagram page and I will also um, post them on my Facebook page uh, Lori Edwards if you like uh, please send me a um, friends request will be perfectly fine or you can go over to um, my Facebook page Enchanted Dreams 71 like that page and I will make sure to have them posted there it's all public so you will be able to click on these as pictures uh, and just print them out or you know there's really not that many this time you can just write them down alright guys thank you all so much for joining me today uh, I'm very very excited about this can't wait till the 10th to get started I love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.